93. What's up, DBB93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our old subscribers for returning. What's good, everybody? This is our Divine Feminine Not in Communication reading for October 29th until November 5th. Y'all, I'm about to say October 5th. Ooh, that was going to be wrong. <laughs> But you guys, this is the reading. Oh my goodness, like, whew, this energy is so beautiful. I feel like this energy is more understanding as well as seeing it from a different point of view. Like, before the energy was more of that impatient, when is it going to happen, when is it going to happen to... Now it's at that energy of, and it's me too, so I'm not just talking about y'all, it's me too. It's like that, okay, I get it. I understand. Like, we're here. We get it. Take care of what you need to take care of. Do what you got to do. I got it, you know? Um, a few cards did fall out that are not on the board. Well, not on the table, it's not the board. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get into this reading. Let's pop off. The first card you guys do have is a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Yes. Aww. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I added the yes into it. I feel like sometimes I got to just go over and beyond, you know? But here is the card. Here is the back of the card. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Okay, you guys. So, make sure you take what resonates, let what doesn't, fly bye-bye. As well as, if I say she and you are he, make sure you flip it to your situation. If I do say he and you are a she, make sure you flip it to your situation. And again, you guys, you do not have to be a female to embody the divine feminine. You can be a male. I want to say it again. You can be a male. It's just you embodying the energy. So this is all energy flows, baby, wherever it goes. You better say that again. <laughs> so let's get into this reading. Um, the first thing that the Divine Feminine Not Communication is going through is a whirlwind of emotions, baby. And the emotion part of it is exploring where those triggers lie. Not only are you exploring where those triggers lie, but it's more of, you know, investigating why are those, excuse me, are there triggers there, Okay. Not only that is, you know, getting cozy and comfortable in those triggers too. Because some of those triggers are good triggers. Not all triggers are bad triggers. And that's a good thing. The next thing the Divine Feminine is going through is healing from the past. Mm-hmm. I don't think I got to touch bases on that, y'all. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have keeping the faith. And one thing I want to touch with keeping the faith. I know these cards are like very straight and right at the point. But keeping the faith. Sometimes when we go through these transitions. It's like, you know, it makes us get let down. Okay. Point blank period. Like it makes us go through those phases like, why am I waiting? Or, you know, why is this worth it? perfect card keep the faith because you know 
Ooh, my mind just went completely blank, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. But no, keeping the faith, it helps you push forward. And sometimes when, just like my mind just went blank, sometimes when, you know, you go through these moments of transition, it's just to constantly ask you, like, is this what you really want? Because you can feel it deep in your soul that this is what you want. This is what you this is what you want to go for. You know how they say that puppy love cause or that honeymoon phase where one moment you want something and then the next moment you don't? It's just to reassure you, it's just to make sure that this is what you constantly and continuously want. Okay? So it's just to reassure you, like, okay, are you sure? Are you sure, baby boo? that this is what you want so that's why it's like keep the faith so if you go through those moments where you like huh is this still coming is this still you know worth it there you go that was your reassurance keep the faith it's still coming it's just a few more things have to get sorted out baby mm -hmm. okay the next thing we have is sentimental feelings so Again, you, you're going through these emotional feelings. If you got to cry, baby, get it out. Because all only thing I say when we cry, it comes healing. And when you heal, you go into the next phase. So let it out. If you got to get that beautiful, fluffy pillow that's going to make you just, oh my goodness. You know, you guys, my niece is um, for Christmas last year. I know some people doesn't um celebrate christmas so i'm gonna keep this a little short um for christmas they got me this fluffy pillow and sometimes you know when i'm feeling that urge and i feel you know that energy of just i need to cry a little bit because you know i'm in pain a little bit i cry i get it out but it helps me heal it helps me get over it a little bit yeah i'm still in a little pain but i cry and i get it out and you know after that moment I feel a little better so sometimes if you gotta cry get it out and I'm not afraid to say I cry before I'll be like I don't cry I'm a thug I'm a G like <laughs> but now I'll be like you know I cry from time to time see I'm getting a little bit out of it I ain't completely out of it like I don't cry no I cry from time to time see I'm halfway there I'm halfway there okay so the next thing we have is support Again, we go through this moment where we need support. It, you don't do this alone. This is for everybody. And even when you come into union with your divine masculine, it's support. Okay? It's a support system. You give giving support to other people and other people are giving you support. Learning how to forgive. Forgiveness is the key here. This is not something you do alone. How are you going to get over blockages if you can't forgive? Finding and seeking. We talked about those triggers that lie below the surface. You're finding and seeking. Find and seek what love means to you. You're looking for love. You're found, you found it, basically. But find out what the dynamics of relationship mean. If you asking what that means, go check out your divine masculine not in communication. You'll find out what that means. Trust me. <laughs> but, um, and that was just uploaded right before this video. So, that video is up and running. Um, but find and seek, you know, what you're looking for. What's out there for you. If you have a hobby and you love it, find and seek what you can do to make it even better for you. Or, you know, something you love. There you go. The next thing you have is changing your mind. Sometimes when we realize that, you know, we say we surrender, okay? And we don't realize that we really haven't surrendered. Then that makes us surrender even more. And it's like, okay, you know, I may say I surrender. Okay, I, yeah, I surrender. And then I look at it really like, yeah, I'm still holding on. I'm still holding on to that past hurt. 
And then I look at it again and I'm like, dang, I really didn't surrender. Like, I just said it, but I didn't really do it. Hmm. I work harder at it. Before, I wasn't completely organized. Yeah, I said it and then I tried a certain way, but then I'm like, okay, well, now it's time to crack down. And then change your mind can be a lot of other things too. So figure out what changing your mind really means to you. So it's taking one way of thinking or one straight mindset and changing it to another. Maybe before you thought of things in a negative aspect. Well, how about from now on you think of things positive? No matter how bad it may look. There you go. And the last card of all, which is amazing, just like the rest of the cards, windfall. Things coming at you from every way in a beautiful way because you decided to make those changes. It could be windfall of money, windfall of emotions. You know, we don't know where things happen and things come from, but they happen, they come. Beautiful, right? So we do have a few more messages here. And let's just get straight into them. And then we're going to do another spread. And then I'll be leaving you guys. Which sucks. But we have our Zodiac signs coming out. And it's a playlist folder for that. So I hope you guys go ahead and check those out. It's for every sign. So um, for the messages we do have. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Hmm, interesting. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And actually, Divine Masculine Non-Communication had the same card. So make sure you guys check that video out. They had the exact same card. Um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Nice cards, nice. Okay, let's get into the reading just a little more, just a little bit. Okay. Let's see your blockages. Five of Cups, okay. The Six of Swords. I'm gonna figure.
figured that out, okay? And the reason I'm going to say that is because if you're the divine feminine and you're not in communication, you're waiting on this communication from your divine masculine, which would be the emperor. You're waiting on a situation to clear up, which would mean that your emperor will be the one that's in the situation that's kind of holding this communication back. You wait on them to move forward in that situation. You feel like they're kind of still tied in some way to the situation. So for some of you, I feel like you're going back and forth. Like you know that they're gonna move on. You know that they're going to move on, but you you still feel, you could feel their pain. Like, you feel like they're having a hard time to let go. You're just feeling their pain right now. Like, and I, I feel like even though they may uphold that they're okay and they may come to you as if they're fine and that they don't have scars, but deep down you feel their scars. You feel their wound is open. It's not hard for them. To, I mean, it's, excuse me. Let me say that again. It's hard for them to move on. But at the same time, it's not hard for them to move on. Because the situation that they're coming out of, it wasn't good for them. Your safety to them. But you know that the situation that they're moving from is hard. They were left out in the cold. They were, it's kind of, it's kind of like the moment of being abandoned. I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know. As growing up, like I watched this movie of losing Isaiah. I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with that movie or not, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Like losing Isaiah when she put the baby in a dumpster and when he um when he made it to the hospital and how the other uh mother that he eventually went to how she felt when she seen him and i, I just feel that whole energy right here and it, it's giving me like the chills because it's like it's like you're you're mourning the loss of him leaving the other half of him but at the same time you're like i can give you this life that's not where you been. But that's a blockage because all he know or all this person knows is that life. Being hurt, being pushed down, being treated like, you know, where we're going with this, okay? Now, look, y'all ain't going to get me in tears here because that was all two weeks ago. I was like this for the Divine Masculine. And I, I feel like for you Divine Feminines, y'all feel like, you know, you was here like this for them before. And it's not them exactly, like not the Divine Masculine, like, but it looks and feels like the situation you were in before them, if that makes sense. It it all has the bells and whistles of the same thing, but you know and feels that it's different. 
it's kind of like that rescue mission, but you rescue them for love. If you guys ever watched the movie The Guardian, that's my favorite movie, y'all. Ooh, it chokes me up each time. But it, it's kind of like that. <clears throat> it, it's kind of like you feel their pain. You guys are so connected, and it's 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 you both moving out of this energy. Moving out of the heartbreak. You helping you're helping them mend their heart. Mend mend those unkind words. Because it wasn't just this karmic relationship that left them feeling like they were out in the cold. It was basically like they felt like their whole life. They felt like they were out in the cold. Like no one understood them. They felt like the eyeball out. Even in their family, they felt that way. And it's so crazy because for some reason, for some of you, one of you always was the one, either you got recognition when it either came to school and not at home, or it's vice versa. Like, somehow it goes vice versa. And the other person, because somehow you're opposite. And then for the other half of you, like, you never got recognition at all, and that's how you both connect. And maybe you know that about each other already. But that's why your story is so deep to each other. Because you are as deep as this sea. You are as deep as this water. You connect just like this water. Your love is what guides them to you. The action, the sun, this new beginning. I feel like for some of them, it's, it's very scary for them to walk away from this because this is all they know. And they don't, again, we go back into their reading where they don't want to mess it up. They're, they are literally flustered and frustrated because they don't want to mess this up. They don't want this to end. Higher commitment is coming towards you. Communication. This is, kid you not, this is the end of their reading. Justice. This is the end of their reading. I want to say they had communication, justice. I can't quite remember. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know they had communication. I know they had justice. I'm not for sure if they had the Hierophant. Y'all got to watch it and tell me. But this is just like they're reading, though. It's seriously telling me a story right now. And it's like going right along I literally see a movie <laughs> it's so crazy but they don't want to mess this up and that's why it hasn't been any communication because they're trying to get their duckies in a row this all stems from childhood all the way up until now Yeah. I know y'all like, show us the courts. <laughs> yeah. Walking away, which walks them away, which brings you out of this mental contraption that you've been going through. With both of y'all been manifesting the magician, wish fulfillment, 
which brings out this waiting process, which in return to bring up this courage, takes you out of this, it's kind of insecurity, okay? That formed around not knowing what's happening and the heartbreak, the waiting to see if this is really going to happen. Mm -mm. The action that comes behind it. So the heartbreak was for nothing. It was just a, a thought. Because if it wasn't going to happen, then you would think of it was as a heartbreak. So these two cards were together. The Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Action is coming. Action. The cameras is looking. I hope you make me eat my words. Because my words is action. I am not going to say the Lil Wayne words on my channel. I can't. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. That's it. I wish I could stay. I do have to get to you guys Zodiac signs for November. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. If your bell notifications are not turned on, turn your bell notifications on, honey bikes. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.